Hey everyone, Mikey here for Renegades React. I just want to take a minute and talk to you guys and give you a heads up that we are actually running a Patreon now, if you didn't know. Um, and I would encourage you to check that out. Um, actually currently offering early access to all of our videos, um, more features to come. Um, and if you would, uh, it would totally help us out um, and help us to keep doing this for hopefully a very long time. And uh, really we can't do it without you guys. So, any Michael, what are you doing in my house? Oh, God. Uh. Damn ninjas. Well, everyone, the uh, Spider-Man Homecoming movie is actually coming out pretty soon. Uh, next month, I believe. Early next month. Is it that soon? Wow. Uh, July, I believe, is when they, hmm. when they said. What do you know? So, um, yeah, there's actually a Spider-Man game in development. Has been for a little while. And of all studios to be developing it, who do you think it is? Hmm. That's a tough one. It's not Activision, is it? No. Okay, good. I got worried. It's Insomniac. Ooh. Exactly. Ooh. Insomniac is developing a Spider-Man game. Yeah, all right. And we have the uh, trailer for it queued up here. So, uh... <laughs> have any of you ever played any of the Spider-Man games? Dude, I played the ever-loving crap out of Spider-Man on the N64. Okay. How that's about a, you, Mike? It's a good Spider-Man. Um, I have one for, what, the GameCube, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, I think I remember that one. Mm -hmm. Um... Was that Spider-Man 2? I know... Or was that Spider-Man the movie, the game? I'm pretty sure it was the movie because Bruce Campbell was a tutorial voice. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's Bruce Campbell. And all I remember is the Green Goblin kicking the crap out of me. Yeah. Yep, that's the first one. Um, There was one that I remember. It was... um, Was it Shattered Dimensions? Mm. That was a good one. Yeah, the like Spider-Man Noir was really cool. Yeah, noir Spider Man was so really cool. cool. I'm, I'm a big fan of film noir, so yeah. what are you gonna do? <laughs> but we got the uh, trailer queued up here for the new Spider Man game. Let's give it a watch. Do it. All units, all units, ten, ten, S and thirty six and part. Ooh. <laughs> Sign us, let's forget about it. Good. All right. Fist construction. Okay. Hey, buddy. It's a good looking suit. I like that suit. Oh, he's got the. He's got the the shutter eyes, which I know you hate, Micah. Well, I mean, I'm here. Ooh. Find the rest. Boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Who the hell is he talking to? It's not like someone called Yuri. Hmm. Huh. I like the stealth elements. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh yeah! Oh, that feels good. What? <laughs> Gadgets? Gadgets? Oh, wow. I love this. Oh, that would hurt. So Environmental bad. kill? Oh, that was quick cool. Kill, or quick, quick takedowns. Oh, I we like got gunfire. You don't need to kill us too. Ooh. This is ours now. That was me. Hey everybody! <laughs> okay, that was awesome. Okay, look at this combat. I like this a lot. It's got a very the spidey, the spidey senses. Oh, it's got a very yeah. Batman. It's got a very Arkham, Arkham feel to it. Yeah, you're yeah, correct. Arkham, Arkham feel, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Spidey sense. 
as far as the application of it, that's pretty good. Leave it to Insomniac to just do it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Also, minimal HUD. Very nice. Hi. Hey, Willie. You. Nice hey. jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Oh. Huh. Wow. Watchoo. Well, time to bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Good quips. Quips are good. Boop. Oh, that's just painful. The web slingshot is good. Oh. Oh, oh that is un like those guys are dead. Uh that guy was going to be super dead if he didn't get you. This is a wow. long way up. Oh, big man! Whoa! What the? Hey, big guy. Mr. Negative, of course. Nice. Okay. Environmental. 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 I like it. Stuns. I like that. Yeah. That's actually really cool. <laughs> I love that. It's like that's a cool attack. I like it. Yeah, so oh. oh nice. Yeah, so these guys have to be Your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? You're about to find out. Check your room. He's here? Nice. Okay, that's awesome. What? Mr. Negative. How's it going, buddy? We might get anti-venom in this game. Oh. I... Oh, dang. Uh-oh. Spidey. Problems with being a hero. You always gotta try and... You always have to save everybody. Everybody gets one, as they say. That's not good. That's not good. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, look out. Pete? Oh. Ah, crap. Oh. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Crap, 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 crap. Running, running, running. There. Oh, I don't know how I feel about these quick time events. Yeah, it did, Pete. I... I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball. It's complicated. Turns out Martin Lee is running the demons. The guy who runs the homeless shelter? Yep. Like I said, complicated. Oh. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Yuri Watanabe, okay. I hope I got this. Osborne. Re-elect Osborne. The city. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? <laughs> Working on it, Yuri. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah. Like, okay. Wall run. That's sweet. And with his ability, and with his ability, that's actually. It makes sense. Pepsi Man. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Oh, good. Oh, Peter, we're having one of those days. Peter, did someone crash through the roof? No, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, it's all right. Okay, I like the running. I like the run. Uh, the Parkour. free run? The free running right there. Oh! oh. Is this the flight to do Good. Yeah. Good. Leave him in quips. there. Quips. Like always quips, man. 
Whoa. Ow. Rude. Jerk. Lee, this is crazy. This isn't you. You don't know me. I think I do. I know you by name. So what I does mean, that say? Yeah. Need a plan. Need a plan real fast. Oh, this is okay. This is a call. If this is a callback to the uh, original oh. idea for on, the original man, idea for Spider-Man uh, for the Spider-Man game or the Spider-Man movie. Oh, holy Dude. crap! Do you know what happened in the original Spider-Man movie with the, the helicopter a helicopter scene? No. I'll yeah, the, tell you the about twin it. towers thing. Oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think that's really what they're doing. Well, I guess they are doing it. Guess so. Well, yeah. Mr. Lee? Dude, he's gonna punch you in the dick. <laughs> or stab you in the chest. Right in the chest, dick. <sighs> ah. 2018 again. Yep. Damn it. So. Wait a minute. It's over. Come on, dude, let's go. No, it's not. Miles. Miles, Miles Morales. Morales. Holy crap. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Um, so the fact that we've got Mr. Negative means that there's a pretty good chance we're going to see Anti-Venom. Okay. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> um, but... I don't know. There was. I'm a little worried with all these quick time events. Well, okay, they actually showed that there was something they did to sort of switch it up a little bit. You know, with like dragging, like dragging, like the sticks into the circle and then hitting it. Yeah. That that that's one one thing I've been seeing a lot more of. One thing I'd like to see is like the quick time events that instead of it being just one button press. It's like randomized. It's like randomized buttons all around it, hmm. like 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 square X triangle circle or circle or circle triangle X X triangle. Like you know, just changing it up like that. I'd like to see that more. I mean, because to me that that would in, implicit more action to be taken. Well, so, I mean, I guess the the issue that I run into is that. Um, there are a lot of games that attempt to use quick time events as sort of a substitute for gameplay. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. And I don't know. It's. Oh, God. Was it the Spider Man 3 game with the quick time events? Was that the one? I think so. Yeah. There, there that, was also. Uh, a, okay, and one game franchise ooh. that was very over reliant on quick time events. They were cool when they were first implemented, but they were mainly used as story. They were mainly used as storyline ones mm -hmm. uh, during cutscenes, and you that actually made you have to keep your hands on the controller the whole time. Yep. Resident Evil Four. Are they the were Evil they were pretty all right in Resident Evil Four. But I, I didn't mind them in Four. Yeah. But then yeah. Five. Oh yeah. And, and then, then six. Six. Oh God! In six. And Christ. Let's see. Did we see a single quick time event in? in I don't seven? think we saw a single one in seven. If we did, if there was one, then I don't really remember it. Which is damn good. Which is good because that means that you aren't thinking in your mind, oh, damn, a quick time event. Yeah. Instead, you're like, oh, man, I'm so engrossed in the game. I don't have time to think about stuff like that. Yeah, and like quick time events are very... I feel like not only are they a poor excuse for game, like a, a poor substitute for gameplay, they're also very immersion breaking. Well, uh, for me, okay. For some games, absolutely. For games that are like action heavy orient, like action heavy, like case in point, when it, they were excessively used in five, I think that took away from the action that was going on. Mm -hmm. Because that's one thing that they did with four to five. Four was an action horror game. Mm. Yeah, five was an action, action game with action game or with like tiny fragments of horror inserted. But 
to me, they went back to the horror elements almost completely with seven. Oh yeah, and I'm so happy they did. I am so happy that they went back to that, and also switching up the perspective helped with that a lot too. That's true. Uh, oh, we got to go back and finish up the uh, DLC. Yeah, because uh, hasn't Not a Hero come out yet? I think so. Yeah, which, I mean, we have confirmation that that's actually really Chris Redfield. So. Yes, so there you go. Uh, so, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I do like that they redesigned him to make look make him look less like a brick of meat. And also, and also, let's not forget this. We need to get this man up here in his Leon S. Kennedy garb and have him play I through the Wii so version bad. of... Uh, of Resident Evil. It has to happen. I'm going to I'm going to find a navy blue bed sheet and just wrap it around myself and just what are you selling? What are you buying? I do love that game. Strange. I, I hate I hated the cutscene quick time stuff, but I, I did appreciate the ones that were like in the environment because they sort of like introduced this sense of panic. Well, for yeah. me, the Krauser ones were the ones that I think were the best <laughs> ones implemented. I hated those. Oh, Dude, they were I so... loved those because it was just like... It was Dude, just like, And they switched them up, too, because you're like, okay, it'll be this. Wait, what? No! I got stabbed every time. <laughs> every time. I remember the first time my cousin... my Me and my cousin Zach came to that. It was in, well, on the GameCube version, the first version out. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. My cousin Zach had the controllers, and he was just like, wait, okay. And then... He does, and then we were expecting like one, maybe two, but then all of a sudden here comes like six or seven in a row, and you're yep. like, no, wait, what? And and he died like four or five times in a row there, and he was like, crap, yeah, come on. Hate hate the Krauser ones. Well, actually, course. the the cutscene one wasn't as bad. I hated the end game ones where you like pop around the corner and he like knifes you. I lost oh, every one of those stupid things. Those, yeah. And I would just heal myself and then just shoot him in the legs. Oh hey, so yeah, that's you know, the secret. I just realized something for whenever we do that playthrough. What's that? Oh hey, it's that dog. Hey, it's that dog. Oh, the dog that hel helps you with yep. the El Gigante. El Gigante, yeah. Uh... Yep. Chico would do it. No, he wouldn't. Yeah, Chico I wish just there be was, like, okay. Hey, there, there were actually two paths to take when you fought the first El Gigante, El Gigante, the first time. Uh, there was El Gigante and the Chainsaw System. That's the second fight with El Gigante. Yeah. Oh, the second fight. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I actually watched uh, Best Friends go through the HD remaster. Uh huh. And they actually did both paths. Oh yeah, I I I I actually did that too because you have to in order to get like you get so many goodies. Yeah, you get so like, many some gems that complete a beer stein, a beer, beer stein, and you get oh all the grenades, just so many grenades. Yeah, and that I, that's one game where flash grenades are awesome yeah the flash grenades are very they're, well they're really good for the parasites yeah oh yeah actually doesn't doesn't it like one hit kill the parasites yes yeah flash grenades will destroy any of the parasites so, yeah, yeah because they're they're they're, the, they're the highly sensitive that are, to, that are uh, exposed UV, yeah. yeah after their heads are exposed yeah that man you see stuff like that to me is just like ah so good i love i love games that there are no weapons i mean you there have are no to useless weapons yeah you yeah. have to figure out how to use the weapons it's just like Super Castlevania Four. Poor implementation on their behalf with the items, because you use the whip for everything. Yeah, literally, you use the whip for everything. Um, and actually, the one that I'm thinking about is, um, I think it was Mega Man. It was either Mega Man Three or Four, where you had um, Top Man. Top Man. Yeah. So, um, let's see. No, I want actual search for Top Man from Mega Man. God damn it. Um, so his weapon. Oh, it's Mega Man 3. Okay. So uh, his weapon is um, the Top Spin, which is like a kick. Um. Let me make sure that I've got that right, actually. Um, so, his weapon, people couldn't figure out really how to use it for a long time. Because it's... Um, he actually... The attack does... Like, uses less uh, ammo if you um, hit them minimally. Like, if you just tap them, 
you use less energy than if you go in and just like full on body check them. Okay. Yeah. So Which is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like and the fact that that's um like it's crazy. <laughs> so so for me, uh yeah. so what you said that was for Mega Man That's Mega Man three. Okay, Mega yeah. Man three, okay. Yeah, like the fact that that's even in there. Like the fact that oh hey, the the less uh like the shorter the impact, the less energy it uses. It's crazy. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good thing. Yeah, I, so you can actually like you can get in a lot of hits with it, or if you screw it up, you'll get nothing out of it. That's true. Yeah. So oh look at the little guy. <laughs> Roll all over. Okay. Okay, there we go. Come here. Yeah, he's a boy, White what? Dale. Yeah, he's a good boy, White Dale. Oh. Yeah. Look at oh, the camera. Oh man. Look at the camera over there. Uh don't force him. No. He'll bite you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this one, everyone. Uh, this was uh, this was very interesting. Just you know, to see what what all uh, what all that they're doing with the new Spider-Man game. Oh yeah. But for me, I you know, like the quick time events. That's that's a down. That's kind of a down for it. If they if they find new ways to implement it, I'll be I'll be a little more I'll be a little yeah, more like that's accepting. That's but, the thing. It's. It really all comes down to if they try to use that to substitute for gameplay. Yeah. So, so, so and also, uh, what did you all think? I mean, let us know uh, down in the comments below. And uh, signing off for the Renegades, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. Micah. That's Chico. This is the Chico boy. And we will see you all later. Peace out.